Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you various use cases of Power Automate workflows. So essentially, there are two versions of Microsoft Power Automate. One is the cloud version, another one is the desktop version. And Microsoft offers different licensing for both cloud flows and desktop flows, and it comes with uh, different license costs, which you can check in Microsoft website. So there are various use cases to these workflows. So to start with, uh, you can almost set all the manual workflows that you have in your office to you know, get automated using cloud flows and desktop flows. And you can in fact automate uh, you know, uh, manual created document as well. And you can also scrape data from website using flows and you can write automated uh, holiday alerts, you can write email approvals, so all kind of flows. So yeah, and today we are going to discuss uh, one of the use case, uh, you know, in respect to Power BI. So I'm going to show you in this video how you can send uh, automated PDF reports uh, to your clients, uh, you know, into their email using Microsoft Power Automate flows. So to start with, uh, you know, if you Google it, how to do it. So Google will tell you to get you a premium license, a PPU license at least in your workspace. And then, you know, you can actually uh, use the Power BI connector in Power Automate flows. And then that will allow you to create the report in PDF and send it to your uh, external users. But we have found a way uh, how you can send those PDF reports, you know, without having a premium license that is at least a PPU license in your workspace. You can do that just using a pro license, uh, which comes with almost, you know, $20 a month. So as you can see in my video, so this is the Power BI report that the client want to be sent to their external users, you know, every morning onto their email box. So we have written a flow which actually runs automatically. And if you see the run history, all the run history are successful over here. So it is an instant flow. So whenever we receive the, uh, you know, the, the PDF version of this report into our email box, which is the email box that we have over here, then it takes the PDF report from that inbox and send it to the customers. And to get the PDF version of this report, you just have to subscribe to it. So once you subscribe to it, you can actually set up the uh, PDF generation to your own inbox. And once you receive the PDF of, uh, of this report in your own inbox, you can write a trigger saying whenever I receive an email into this email, then take the attachment and send it to so and so users. So this is how we have done it. So as you can see, this is how the email looks like. So you can customize this body uh, inside the flow and make it whatever you want. And this is the attachment that will be there. So yeah, you see, so this is all automated. The client receives the PDF version of the report every morning. And not only this, so we have various use cases of Power Automate uh, in, you know, in Power BI, you can actually refresh a data set or you can, you know, uh, maybe uh, call a data set uh, whenever you push a button in Power BI, which I'm going to show you now. So as you can see in my video, so if I open the API connector that we have for Power BI inside the flows, so you see, so these are the different actions that we can do. And some of the famous actions that you can do is, you know, you can add rows to a data set and then you can actually export a paginated report into a file. And then, you know, you can refresh a data set, as I said, you can even run a JSON query uh, against a data set. And yeah, these are all preview features that are looking to get published soon. So yeah, these are the different use cases. And yeah, uh, if you feel you have similar needs in Power Automate flows or setting up Power BI reports, please feel free to reach us out and we'll be happy to help you.